Good morning. Welcome to day two of online school from home, right? So right here, we're going to make a quick little video on the changes that are happening in my math classes. Let's begin by reviewing day one and going over the successes and failures. So as a teacher, um, what did I find as a success? The daily attendance. Absolutely. That's a definite success. And we're going to keep doing daily attendance by 316 all right so whenever you wake up doesn't matter when it is uh, get online and respond to the daily attendance post uh, so please put your last name comma first name and period and also uh, like whatever posts I've, I've done on that day this is how we're going to be taking uh, uh, attendance it's a great way to make points really easy I mean way easier than actually uh, going to school, right? I didn't give you points for showing up. Right here, you're getting points for showing up, logging in, and liking the posts, and responding to the daily attendance before 316. <clears throat> now, let's say it's past 316. You could still do it. That's fine. Go ahead and post your attendance uh, response right there, even if it's after 316. But of course, I would like it to be before 316. So that was definitely great, and we're definitely going to continue with that on a regular basis, all right? And if you looked at your uh, grade online, you should see every Monday you're going to have five points. So if you check in every day on the daily attendance, you're going to remain with those five points throughout the week. But let's say uh, you checked in yesterday. Okay, you got the five points. Um, if you don't check in today, that five is going to drop to a four. And then if you don't check in the next day, the four will drop to a three. So please check in every single day and like all the posts. So let's now talk about failures, right? What did, it, what did I see was very difficult for me uh, running this online class yesterday? Well, I found it very, very challenging to have 180 students uh, turn in homework and ask questions throughout the day. So like, I, I'm here for you guys. I wanna ask, I wanna answer any questions you guys have about the homework. But in addition to all that uh, communication that we had going on of me answering questions, in addition to that, I had 180 pictures, sometimes times two or times three, depending on how many pictures you sent me on the homework. And that's just very overwhelming. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make this big change. <clears throat> we're going to turn in homework only on Fridays. Okay. You guys remember in class, we would have a quiz every single Friday or a test every single Friday. It's going to be the same concept right here. We're gonna turn in homework only on Fridays. And that will be by, you know what? I, I, as I'm making this video right now, I'm feeling a little, a little generous. So let's change this to by Friday, okay? It could be midnight, whatever, okay? So I will be checking Saturday morning. I'll be checking to see who turned in the homework. <clears throat> now, what do I mean by turning in homework? On Friday, I will inform you which one of the five assignments you must turn in, okay? Please do all assignments, but we're only turning in one. So you're going to have a homework assignment Monday, homework assignment Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, at some point on Friday, I will say, okay, turn in page 534, the homework we had on Tuesday, right? And then that's the picture that you send me. Or it might be that same homework from Friday. I do not want all the pictures of all the homeworks, all right? So we're going to have five assignments, and out of those five, we're only turning in one. I'm going to pick the one that I want. It's going to be random. So that's why it's so important that you guys do every single homework assignment, all right? Because you don't know which one I'm going to pick. Okay, so on Friday, I'll let you know which homework assignment I want you to turn in. You could turn that in by midnight. And on Saturday, I'll check to see if you actually turned it in. And of course, that should free up more time for me to uh, respond to any questions that you have on the homework. So feel free to text me anytime. Um, I will be able to respond and help you out on the homework assignments. But on Friday, we're turning in only one assignment. All right, so let's recap here. Your grades so far will be composed of two things. The first thing, attendance. Uh, do you sign in and respond to the attendance post by 316 daily? That's really simple. And also your likes. Like every single post that I do on Edmodo. Why? Because that proves that you're actually participating, that you're in class, that you're checking out the posts, all right? And this will record your names 
And just in case we do get back to school before school ends and they ask for a, a report of the attendance, um, I'll have it right here recorded on my Edmodo class. Um, again, that's an easy way to make points. That's pretty much half your grade right there, all right, just by checking in. Now, the other half comes from the work that you actually turn in, and that'll be by Friday. And yeah, I just made this change midnight, all right? So you could turn in your work Friday at 11.59 and submit it through Remind. It's okay, don't worry, you're not gonna wake me up. I'll have my phone turned off. Um, and I'll check it Saturday morning to see who turned in the assignment that I requested. If you have that, you get the points for the week. If you don't, well, I'm sorry, you're not gonna have it. If you turn it in late, I'll give you partial credit, not full credit. All right, guys, those are the changes we're making already on the very second day of school. I hope you guys understand. Please post any questions publicly uh, right below this post on Edmodo. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Be safe.